Hello friends, welcome back. So to get started with this course, we have to start working with the code. So to use the code, we have the GitHub repo. So you need to visit this link. Right now we have only 5 projects, but soon I'll be adding more projects. So all of your app can be found in this repo. And I'll share this link. So to get started, we need to clone this repo to our local machine so that we can start working. So we need to click on this code and then we need to copy this link. And then we need to go inside Visual Studio Code. And let's open the terminal. So I want to create my folder on the desktop. So I'll go to my desktop by typing CD desktop and hit enter. Now I'm inside my desktop and here I'll type git clone and I'll paste the link that I have copied and hit enter. So now it's done and now we need to open the folder. So let's click on open and inside the desktop we have built react projects. Let's click on open. So inside the folder built react project we have all this applications. Okay. So let me show you the structure. So let's open the first project which is Pomodoro and inside we have two folders. One is finished and one is start. So let's open the start folder and then inside the src folder we have app.js so inside the app.js file we have the starter code and i have also created the styling for this application so you don't have to do anything for styling okay and even i have deleted few files which are not required so let me close this files and now let's open the finished folder and inside src i'll just open app.js so this will be the final source code to start the project, we need to do a couple of things. So let's open the terminal by pressing Ctrl and backtick key. And here I'll say CD, P should be capital 01, press tab. So now we need to hit enter. Okay. Now we are inside the project which is called Pomodoro. Okay. P stands for project. This is a short form. So project 1 and then we have Pomodoro. Okay. And then we need to go inside the finish folder. So CD and then we can say finish, press tab. So now we are inside the finished folder and make sure you install all your node modules. So here I'll say npm install and press enter. So it will install all the dependencies which are inside this package.json. Okay. So these are all the dependencies for this application and here it will create the folder node underscore modules. So let's wait for some time. So now as you can see we have this folder called node underscore modules. So we have all the packages inside this. So let's wait for some more time. Okay let me clear this terminal and now I will say npm start. So it will start our application and it will have the URL which is localhost 3000. So this is the finished app. Okay. Let me just reset it. So now you can just click and see the app in action. So if I click start, so now this timer has started. And if I click on stop, it will stop. Okay. And if I click on reset, it will reset the timer. So this is the finished application. And if I go back to VS Code, now let's stop this application by pressing Control C. Okay. Let me clear this and now let's go to start folder. So I'll say cd space dot dot slash and start. Okay. And hit enter. So now we are inside the start folder. Before working on any application, make sure you do npm install. Okay. So let me do npm install. So it will install all the dependencies which are inside package.json file. Okay. Okay. This is the finished folder. This is the start one. So it will install all these dependencies, right? So it will take some time. Let me close this, close this. And let me close this finish folder and inside uh, the start folder we have, okay, right now, as you can see, we have node underscore modules and this is the app.js file. So here, this is the starter file for our application. We will start coding, okay, inside this file. So let me clear this out and I'll say npm start. So it will start our application in the browser. So this time you will not have any functionality. We can only see the HTML and the buttons. Okay. If I click on any button, it won't do anything. Okay. Here you will only see the styling and the HTML. Uh, nothing will work. 
so this is the starter code for our application so from the next video we will start coding on this application pomodoro so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye